The Reckoning. Uh, we well, have to kill the Odin before it moves out against us. Yeah, and the Hyperion's not allowed to take any damage. And beat the whole mission. The last time we did a final mission, we crushed it, right? So this one should be easy. Did we crush all in? Or am I we supposed did. to Remember say? Remember, I had like 230 supply of mutas. Oh, yeah, and the hero engineering bay. You're right. <laughs> yeah, the engineering bay is a fate. Whoever Either recommended that in chat is a god. No idea. Well, we'll see what, what meme territory this one takes us in. Do we have a general thought of what we're going to do? Or, I mean, what we did the last two missions seems like it's working. Yeah, I think so. It depends on the money distribution. Broodlords really do seem, as long as we just babysit those broods really hard, it seems to be very good. And then, I, I don't know. Vipers didn't work out last time. They did. I mean, it seemed like they worked really well on Planetfall, even though you would... That's the thing with spellcasters. You're basically suiciding them, but if they can ma you know, maximize their value before they die. Right. I will try. There are a lot of high-value targets. I'm scared of the number of Sky Furries that are going to come. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're under the platform. The northeast <laughs> sector is clear. Good cutscene, guys. Good cutscene. Yeah, right. Um, I'm going to give Burrow Charge a go. I think I'm just going to keep everything exactly how it is. At this point, it's been working. I feel like Burrow Charge is the only thing that's going to make Ultralisks worth it at all. It, a bit of a stun before they die. Monarch Blades is really, really good. It's super underrated. That's what I've been running currently. Oh, not the heal. Yeah, punch. yeah. Uh, I think the heal is actually garbage, even in the normal thing. I agree. The Monarch Blades is absurd. And Rampage is... Uh, it exists. <laughs> I feel like my Frenzy Hydras have been doing good work. They're just nice and consistent. Mm-hmm. So I'm sticking with the accelerated, so the the evolutions that are cheaper and are faster, so we can get to plus three faster, and and then the hive command for the cheaper, not cheaper, but faster hatcheries for for more control. I think those are the best value I can give you all. Yeah, I think I'm sticking with automated extractors and twin drones because it saves us supply. Yes. Right. I was Especially thinking that if we have three gas geysers a piece, that's nine supply saved, and then. We spend maybe, <laughs> you save like 16 supply on double drones as well. So I think that that's the reason that our armies can be decent. I'm sorry, I was distracted by this. Holy crap. <laughs> what is this? We're seeing that. Nice quote. Where was the ground? <laughs> it was just a unit. The ground's made of siege I'm looking forward to no, fighting the Gorgon, by the way. I can't not laugh at how silly that is. Hear me. The time for planning and deliberation is past. Another Gorgon! Now we tear them down. I'm glad I didn't we skip that. So then we need to save Jim? We oh god. He's my favorite. <sighs> I'm glad one of us didn't just spawn as Jim. Oh, that would have been a bummer. That would have been a big bummer. So this is one where I actually, I do think that impalers and or lurkers could be quite good because the map appears quite large and could probably defend some locations with lurkers. It's just the supply, leaving stuff there is kind of crappy. Yeah, leaving supply is pretty risky and they have, they send so much detection everywhere. Right. Oh, I found my ultimate. I'm going to use no. Dude, Dawadira missiles! Oh, I wasn't paying attention. It's the... Um, where else did we see it? It was like what Synergy had on that on the Ragnarok and with friends like these. Oh, the little green things. Yeah. Little green goos. So we're not on a timer here. So that's something. 
No. In fact, we are on an anti-timer because we want the Odin to attack us before we get there so we don't have to fight it with a Gorgon battle preserve. <laughs> right, right. Did we just all hit Super Saiyan? What is going on here? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> we're just we're just bombing our way through. Uh, it's just that easy. Oh, no. Too bold. They are rebuilding yeah, from these, so we just get rid of these and. Uh, you have kinetic up. We can boop the, bunk, boop the bunker up here. Is there like a base? We have only one entrance to our base. You say oh, one entrance, but we're probably going to get dropped on and stuff. That's fine. Yeah, that's Spores exist. Okay. I'm actually on the target. I'm getting attacked. I think we're all getting attacked. So, people in chat make a really good point that on this mission, the bonuses send that really big wave and then not much. We should save all of the bonuses for that final area and then unleash them all at once. Yep, I think it's a great idea. Because it was chat's idea and they're great. <laughs> chat has never misled we once. You know, if we're going to lean into the devourer, or not the devourer, well... If we're going to lean into the Guardian thing, maybe Devourers, I could mix some of those in and just have them follow him around. Uh, you can try. <laughs> that means good luck. <laughs> I mean, they still are Devourers, right? They're the meme unit that isn't the scout. Right. I guess I haven't checked to see how expensive they are. I think if they're the same price as Brood War, they're 150. Yeah, they're just a little bit more on minerals than gas, at least. Here he comes. I wonder where he's going to land. Right up this ramp. Yeah. He just gets shot down in this cinematic. <laughs> Yeah, Game over. Let's yeah. The job. You need to clear that before the cinematic. We're both tied up in whatever happens. I feel like today. probably protecting the Hyperion is going to be a bit of a challenge here. Thank yeah. That's where maybe lurkers could be helpful. Put your war face on. I will make some impalers for that. Okay. I think I'll oh, now Chad is saying that if we finish the bonus but wall it off, they'll continuously spawn units in a giant glob. Then we can kill the walls <laughs> and unleash a tidal <laughs> wave. Uh, uh, this is why we keep you around, Chad. That That's like what I do on the Legacy of the Void Core Hall missions. You know, the one with the disruption event? You can do that with uh, pylons. You can wall in Valerian and Jim's bases and then create a giant tidal wave of death that right. moves across the map and finish the mission for you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Uh, I'm going to try to get my creep spread on early here. If we can actually take this middle area, that might be better. There should be bases somewhere. I bet there's a base to the right of where we are. Uh oh, the police are coming to arrest Synergy for too good play. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna make us do it ourselves. Synergy, it is illegal to carry people for more than two hours at a time. <laughs> I'll try to get some creep up to Jim, then we can build colonies up there. Crawlers, whatever they're called. Have I ever mentioned how much I hate Jim? Like, first of all, he has a bunker that has eight slots, and he puts one guy in it. <laughs> Come on, Jim. 
Uh, he infuriates me. Yeah, uh, okay. Hyperion. Uh, does Hyperion need help, or are we good to just sort of keep pushing here? Down with zero missiles. Wow. That'll be good for attack. What's the cooldown? Uh, it's two ten, which sucks. Oh yeah, that's not very good, but it was cool. My god. Well, there is a base here like I thought. Woo! Okay. Well. We're almost ready to attack the Dominion. Uh, I'll come back. I'll come back. Sorry, I thought you were dead. Coming. Kerrigan never dies. So I have a bunch of Hydras that are building now that are going to go over to help Jim. Uh, I have a bunch of Hydras that are coming in that are going to come over and help us. Tank. Big attack wave in the middle. Do you see that that ultra was underground for like a super long time because it, co it couldn't figure out where to come out? Okay, let's deal with these Sky Furies. Who wants that base? It's got a lot of gas. I want the gas. Um, do I need to... Should I come over to help you all, or should I keep over here? I'm not sure where the Sky Furies are. Your Found them. Oh, good. Oh, no, it's energy! Uh, okay, no, I just lost a few. We did deal with the attack wave, which is good. Okay. I'm pushing in on the right. I think what I might do is save Apocalypse for the big waves that attack Jim. Because they come pretty frequently, and I have a feeling the one with like the Prides of August grad and stuff is going to be devastating. Yes, I, I agree. Oh my god. Uh, against home defense. Oh, sorry. I, where did they come from? Uh, they came from the middle and assassinated Kerrigan. It's just like a constant barrage over here on the right. I'm trying to keep pushing this stuff back, but it's endless. Yeah, I believe that they have a bully trigger until that base is dealt with. Yeah, we're close. Yeah. It's just getting through there. This base is hard to hold even when you're playing the game normally. Yeah, this is where I think lurkers could be useful. That's the only thing. These flippin' hunter seekers, they're endless. Well, hopefully taking down the starports will help. We just about got it. Is Jim's base doing okay? Yes, it is. Ghost in the way. He filled up his bunker and then he just unfills it and leaves the guys out. I hate Jim. I know. My boys are prepping to attack the Dominion. Heading out in a bit. Or not? Are we going to attack with Jim? Is he going to do something useful? I think we could probably do that later, but right now I'm not too concerned about attacking with him. Oh, yeah. Um, my chat is right, and Rainer is practicing social distancing, and I need to respect that. It's just that, yeah. At this I'm middle section, it needs to go. I'm going to try and push with him. 
Okay, I should be able to deal with this one pretty easy. I have Duke. Alpha Squadron? Okay. Not that didn't work. Rainer can push like three feet before dying. Nice. So it's just like the normal campaign. <laughs> exactly. I guess I'll take these minerals at this base. They're just gonna die, but money is money. I think if we maybe keep our push mostly along the left, Jim's got a little bit of defense, and then Synergy can mostly stay here and keep chipping away. Maybe you and I can just push down the right, and that'll keep that base alive. Or maybe. Not. Well, here they come. No. no. Is that Alpha Squadron? Mm, I don't think so. I'll go back for this. Oh, is this Alpha Squadron? That's, yes, that's Alpha Squadron. All right, that was Alpha Squadron. No problem. Okay, let's retake this base down here, I guess. And then finally clean up this middle section, and then we can work our way towards the bridge. Get some extra bases going. These mechanical stuns are pretty cool. You get like yeah, burrow, the burrow charge. Yeah, working well with them. Yeah. in the base again. Yeah, we'll just have to set up. We can we can spam it. I uh, got a huge amount of death's head that just killed my whole army. Oh, they extended the bridge. I thought you had to destroy the generator to do that. You usually do, yeah. Well, that's very nice of them. Yeah. There should be a base right there. Uh, I've, like, never in my life been able to hold that base, but there should be a base over there. I usually take it and it goes okay. I just... Again, the longer this mission goes, the harder it is to kind of stay on top of all the different directions they can get to you from. We're almost ready to attack the Dominion. Moving out soon. Yeah, we're able to hold these off pretty well. Do we want to try to push push across the bridge, or do we want to go this way? Um, I don't know. Honestly, the fact that the bridge is extended makes things worse, because it's harder for us to go a specific direction, because they can get to us from both. I figure we should probably push the direction that there's a base. Yeah, I think you're right. I keep dying, though. Or rather, my army keeps dying. It's very tiny. Yep. Likewise. This is going to be all about chip damage. And then once the Odin's out, there won't be any more giant spawn attacks, just normal attacks. That we know of. Right. I, s I still remember seeing that Gorgon. I wonder if that'll move towards us. I mean, we I assume we could just kill that with normal stuff, but I don't know. I don't even know what the stats of a Gorgon is. I don't know. So, Synergy, are you, um, do you think you need to stay up there, or should we go? Like, until he spawns Odin, maybe we should try to push together along the bottom right? I could go. I'm not sure Jim will survive the next attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I think I should just block yeah, this entrance right here, right? Like across the bridge, we could. Yeah, and so I've got a lot of I've got some creep tumors up at the front here. You could build colonies at Jim's base too. Okay. I'm going to help you guys. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to come across and help you here. 
On my way. Okay, here comes Odin. I guess let's maybe make a little bit of... Nah, let's just back up. Yeah, it's not worth... Yeah, let's put everything on killing Odin. Sarah, keep going. You've got to finish this. Go on without me. Like what? Hell I will. Oh. Hold on, Jim. I'm coming. He always says he that. Died. No. Okay. It's like we stop babysitting him for five seconds and he just dies. I assume the ultra stun won't work. Most uh, likely. So, so we got a big ol' air attack here. I can go and sort of deal with that. And then I'll come up and help right. you with Odin. Or this might be part of the Odin attack wave, actually. Oh, yeah, that's uh, it's coming right to the base. Uh, so, Synergy, I want you to be careful with the Broods, because if the Odin does AoE splash damage, it might just one-shot everything you have. Okay, let's see what it does. Okay, I wiped out that air attack. Let me go down. I'm going to go and... Do you need my help up there? Looks so like the Odin no. was stunnable. Okay, well that's simple. <laughs> I'm coming down here to secure this base. Okay, I'm maxed out. We're almost ready to attack the Dominion. Move it out I am soon. too. I'm about maxed out, yeah. Let's grab the base in the middle. Who gets it? Uh, you're the only one without an expansion. Synergy doesn't have an expansion. Right? Oh, I have a gas expansion. Oh, right. He has my gas geyser. This base sucks. Wow. Yeah, pushing in through any of this stuff is going to be a nightmare. Wow, okay, well. We tried. You could bring those impalers up and attack with them. I'm not, I mean, if, are you sure Jim's gonna be okay? Well, Synergy's, uh, oh, okay, that's what, well, okay, I see. Lighting. Looks like Broodlords are getting cleaned up. Yeah, you can't... Just a recommendation. Just don't attack with those yourself. Just let us know. That way we can come and help you, because it's like a massacre. Yeah. It was going pretty well until they throw us in the Vikings. Yep. Okay. I'm going to try to push mid again before they can rebuild. Um, let's go around and hit them from the other side then, and we'll meet you there. So many just random widow mines sitting here. Oh my god! There are widow mines there, be careful. Diamondbacks coming in. Uh, on my way. Uh, just, yeah, get some rallying ultras that could probably kill them. Yep. I won't make it past that, I think. Oh my god. So annoying. <laughs> they just don't stop <laughs> moving, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Sorry, Grant. Dowdero was dead. I wasn't close to you at all. I'm dead too, don't worry. I was actually going up this way to try to go down the ramp and just meet you down there, but there was like a cluster of four Widow Mines that I thought I, I had killed, but nope, they just keep... There's all still here. It's probably the most annoying thing about this is Widow Mines everywhere. Yep. Jim doesn't rebuild So his that bunker. area was mostly cleared out. They may not rebuild it. I don't know. My boys are prepping to attack the Dominion. Heading out in a bit. 
Oh, you do that, Jim. Have a good time. <laughs> he may actually, uh, if he comes down to the middle, that might actually be great. He won't. Yeah, you know he won't. Uh, nothing's being built out of these factories, so I think we're all, I think we're good. Careful with that black hammer. Yeah, look at that. Nice job. Might be worth clearing out these areas down here next to stop the attacks from the coming from that direction. Yeah, that sounds right. Oh, there's a lot oh. of ACs. Yep. Can't. Where at? Uh, down here. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, big attack coming through the middle. I'm mostly just concerned about long-term resources on this map. They're going to be able to outlast us. Yeah. We do make progress every time we go. Maybe we should just try to be more, even more aggressive. I do think we should be clearing out every single area, though. Yes. Um, next. I'm just so sick of Widow Mines. <laughs> they're just... They're just literally everywhere on these maps. It's okay, I'm sure Legacy of the Void will be much better. Mobius Core loves their Widow Mines. Oh, that's gonna let out the... I think that's gonna let out the... Yeah, we don't want to finish the bonus. Well, if they're here, I guess we might we want to use them as best we can. Oh, damn. Oh my god, my frames. I can't really even yeah. see. <coughs> yeah, I'm up. Five. Moving out soon. Oh. I got it. Maybe. Yep, I do. There's, well, there's another base on the right. So that's something. Okay, uh, on my way. Oh look, it's Jim. He's here. Oh, and he's pushing down the middle. The man, the myth. He built a battle cruiser, the capital ship. <laughs> Can you imagine if Jim was like as good as the enemy in general here. That'd be the dream. Yeah, we could just go AFK. Exactly. At least he's building stuff. Well, let's follow him. He knows what to do. Oh, he hates statues. Where's he going? What's he doing? Jim, why, what are you doing? My man, what, where are you going? He goes where he's needed. I guess so.
Did you see that statue get moved by Burrow Charge? I enjoyed that a lot. Burrow Charge works in mysterious <laughs> ways. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting a little separated from where we probably want to focus on going Represent, next. you come over to me, I'll heal you. Uh, I'm away. I'm right on I'm you. Right. Oh, lots of battle cruisers. I wouldn't push into there. Just back up. We don't have enough anti-air. Jim's got it. <laughs> Does he? <laughs> Does he, though? <laughs> What part of capital ship do you not understand? <laughs> oh. Getting chased. And there's just a random widow mine just sort of hanging out there, of course. Okay. I'm hoping Jim will save me this time. Well, that's an interesting hope to have. Well, he does have a lot of war pigs. Yes, he does. It's a funny joke. Boys are prepping to attack. Oh, he's going again! Heading out in a bit. He's the man is it. relentless. Yeah. So how's that base going? Oh, um, it doesn't exist. Which one? The middle one? The middle one. Uh, I took the one on the far right instead. I'm not messing around with that middle base. Seems... Oh, I'll take that. I'm trying to spread creep up to it so we can at least get around to it. If I might just say, my creep sped, on point. It's on point. Yeah, it's been good. Now YouTube's not going to have anything to complain at you about. <laughs> they just say that we're bad. That's all they have to say. That's all they need to say. Ah, uh, they got us there. I know. Pack it up, boys. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we even bother? Well, you got to play kind of bad so you can get that uh, user interaction, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's like so when for people... anyone who doesn't know, Nebrino is actually like world championship level, and <laughs> he uses F2 just so people complain about it because it gives him that interaction on YouTube and the algorithm. Mm -hmm. It's like when people make top 10 lists and like number two is what you'd expect number two to be, but number one is something weird and you're like, how could they have left out, you know, whatever? Uh, it's because they want exactly. you to leave a comment. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Brino is the watch mojo of StarCraft <laughs> Of the StarCraft community. <laughs> so they're mostly just sending out these death's head groups, which really aren't that spooky. Okay, well, I mean, for you. Like, they do kill my base. Right. Um, so one thing that is pretty good against them is the instant baneling morph. You can make a bunch of... Uh, Zerglings, and then when oh, they finish, uh -oh. instant. I knew it. Zergling. Zergling I'm going to go back. Uh, 3,000 HP. Yeah, just yeah. let's just back up and, and consolidate and so figure this out. I'm going to build some Hydras. And it deals like a hundred times the damage of a normal battle cruiser. This is just, we're, this is going to have to be base. like a brute, this is going to be brute force. We're just going to have to... Does it have your motto cannon? Can it be... Can it be yanked by vipers, you think? Yeah, sure, of course it can. So, I just have to kinetic blast it ten times, because it can't actually contest Kerrigan. Okay. Oh, this is going to be easy. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll zap it with my nuke as well. Oh yeah, this isn't nearly as bad. Okay. This is my world, Kerrigan. You are not welcome here. 
Didn't even need Scourge. I'm mined out in one of my bases. I guess, I mean, most of the map's clear. Let's go for this. Let's go for the Dahaka entrance. And then that should reduce most of the attacks from a lot of the different directions. And we can finish it up. Right. Sounds good. My boys are prepping to attack the Dominion. Honestly, I think the Gorgon would have been much scarier if it didn't attack. Yeah. I agree. I mean, I'm sorry to anyone that plays this after and Lord DZ watches and leaves it at home, but, you know. Yeah, sorry in advance. I feel like my army exists just so that it can run in and basically die in order to allow my hero to get up to cast anything. Oh, because I felt like my entire army existed so it could run in and die so that your army could run in. And so then I think die. That... Yeah. We're literally spending 260 supply so that Daodaru can go in and do something. Oh. I'm keeping the mend going. I uh, got an attack wave up top. I will try to get some bailings up there. Yeah, actually, I'm out of resources, so never mind. This is going to be close. Again, resources are really tight. Hell yeah. Dude, apparently Broodlord's uh, just... You know, gonna win the game. It's just that easy. Yeah, I mean, it's not Wings Liberty, but it feels like it. Send your pack into the city. Yes, we will feast upon their essence. So are we gonna push with Big D? Might or as well. Little D, I guess. <laughs> Lil D, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, these widow mines. I hate them. And not just the men. <laughs> Why did you just become a choking old man? Are you okay? That I was escaping with my life. Oh, okay. I thought you, like, dislocated your hip or something. No, Big D was, he was <laughs> slowed, he was trying to escape, you know, he waddles real slow. He's dead now anyway, because I wasn't watching. But you know how it goes. Um, attack on Jim, I think he'll be okay, actually. He's got eight Impalers and a bunch of Siege Breakers. Jim reminds me a lot of the Gorgon Battlecruiser, where if they both just sat still, they'd be really useful. <laughs> yep. My boys are prepping so I don't want to jinx this, but I think Head I think we're going to have this. And just it's like that, I jinxed It's how much less bad this is than Planetfall. Yeah, plan well, I think, yes. It's kind of the curse of making custom maps when there's this many to do, you're not going to nail every single balance. It's really just the directions of attack, though, right? So Planetfall, it attacks from everywhere, and then the other ones have been just fairly uniform. They come from the same direction that we expect, and when that happens, we can actually deal with it. Yeah. Here comes Jim, who is, of course, going the opposite way that we are currently attacking, but, you know. It's called flanking. It's a strategy. <laughs> <laughs> I 
in the Morgan. Attack from the left up there, it looks like. Maybe Jim will run into it. I don't know. Um, these Jim gone AFK. <laughs> he's just sitting there. Poor guy. Yeah, he's fine. Heck yeah! Uh, I need to go back. Oh my god, oh, this base. Oh, energy's taking severe damage here. Um, we destroyed at least, I would say, about half the production in that area, though, and they can't build from anywhere else. I return. So once we have ultimates off cooldown, do we want to take a cue from Jim and just go up that other side? Clear all the rest of the production. Sure. Yeah, I have no money left. So I think, yeah, I, all I can... I'm pulling the boys, and we're gonna... Oh, he's going! Might as well follow him. All right. I think that if all the production is done, we can't lose, though, because we can just brute force Dawadaru in there until the objective is dead. <laughs> Why do, Why me? <laughs> because you're going to be the one that wins. That's true. There's an attack on the left. Well, okay, the Siege Breakers at least kill their own stuff a lot. So that's a big thing you can rely on. I do think that, yeah, if they didn't do friendly splash damage... Oh, uh oh there's a lot of predators. <laughs> I guess we don't care. We have brute lords. <laughs> the predator revenge. Oh, is that Nidus? Your, uh, is that your ultimate? Oh, it, yeah, it was. Spawns and Nidus with uh, Shadow Be ready shortly. Oh, here comes Jim again. Woo! All right, we did it! Now he's gonna... Sp I don't even want to know what the reinforcements of this area are gonna be like, though. Wait, there's reinforcements? You know, like, when you attack the... When you attack the gate. I don't... Uh, I have a very warped view. Oh, of right, area. right, 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 right. <laughs> you wouldn't know about that. <laughs> I've done it legitimately before, but then I did this mission like 32 times in a row at exactly 2 minutes and 16 seconds. You know what I'm realizing? The Storm Strain Ultralisks sort of overlap with Burrow Charge. Like they... It, it uses it before it even unburrows, which means the stuns are overlapping and not that useful, unfortunately. It's not ideal, but it does give you... It's AoE. It's okay. Yeah, it gets them in there, which is what, you know, they can do something. I think that Tarasque with Burrow Charge would have just been better, though. Yeah, I think so, too. It's okay. We got it. That's all that matters. It only has 5,000 HP. We can probably burn it down pretty fast. Well, Jim's going to try. Look at that. Yeah, see, here they come. Oh, that's why I never noticed. I was expecting there'd be a lot more, given what this campaign has had in store for us, but it just seems like it's a couple marines. Bring in another Gorgon. <laughs> I'm really upset with Carrigan. Give me another Gorgon. For humanity. Whoop, whoop. Wow, that was disappointing reinforcements. Nice job, guys. We have hearted the swarm. I'm gonna miss Dawadiru, you know? He'll live on in our hearts. <laughs> For if you ever forget him, some broodlings will spawn. <laughs> Just a couple, though. <laughs> oh. The real question is can you clear a journalist difficulty with only Dawadiru broodlings?
but only the ones that spawn directly I think that's from Dawadero. Exactly. Okay, we're going to have to wait for At least oh, he got a primal. Synergy. Primal. Energy was a rich boy. <laughs> yeah, but average unspent I'm resources not five thousand. Oh my gosh! Forty eight dollars. <laughs> oh my gosh! We're like gosh. sitting over here being like, "Oh, we have no money left." <laughs> I was poor the whole time. Like, freaking Goldman Sachs over there. Well, I big think we bank too big to fail. We did exactly what we needed to, namely synergy went mass broodlords because they were. They were mineral efficient. Like, I don't know about you, but I just kept making Ultra Hydra and they just evaporated. And like, we'd make a little progress, but not enough that I could have, we could have finished the map if we all did that same thing. So it was good that we had some longevity. Yeah, I think that the strategy was right. Uh, we both, basically, everyone exists to protect our voice energy. <laughs> so, what is next? Is it the prologue? <laughs> 